I trust that uh, this uh, study on revival, both personal and corporate, um, uh, is is refreshing and that it is strengthening you. Uh, today we will continue to look at this, um, look at the fact that when we seek God uh, for Him to come and work in our lives, you know that that is something uh, very very special. Isaiah chapter forty verse thirty one. We read, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Now we are told that when we wait upon the Lord, uh, in other words, when we are uh, waiting for God to work in our lives, when we are inviting Him to come and touch us, uh, it's not wasted time. You know, for for some of us who are very action oriented, uh, we might feel like we want to get everything done and not really uh, slow down or have a sella moment or a pause moment in our lives because you know we would we would be taking away from the kingdom work. However, when we do uh, wait on the Lord, we take time to seek the Lord. These are very precious moments. And uh, we see that God Himself will come and strengthen us when we wait upon Him, and that's what we are saying when we are asking God to come and work in our lives, come and revive us, come and take us to a higher place in Him. We're looking at all the revivals in church history, we see that God performed various, um, uh, you know, mighty uh, tasks in life in the in the lives of people. There were blessings. That people actually uh, took from these revivals. I just want to enlist some of these blessings. You know, there was always a deeper hunger once people experienced a touch of God. You know, you may want to call it a visitation from God or uh, a move of God, and call it whatever. But uh, as we're seeking the Lord and God responds to us, we end up having a deeper hunger. We end up having deeper revelation of God's word. You know, the word that. Uh, we couldn't grasp the word that we couldn't apply in our lives. Suddenly, you know, it's transforming our hearts. It's transforming our lives. Uh, it's it's uh, uh, really causing uh, us to come alive uh, spiritually and in every other way. Uh, we also see that there there is a greater blessing uh, uh, in our understanding of who God is and the person of God. You know. Uh, the Father Heart of God. And there are seasons in church history where we've seen that just this one revelation uh, moved the hearts of the people, and God did an amazing work in their lives with just this one revelation. So uh, revival will bring us to that place of understanding God uh, in in a marvelous way. It brings in supernatural works of God. You know, we can experience the power of God that we read about in the Bible. You know, it no longer is. Out there in in a in a book, but it happens in our lives. You know, we we live with dreams, visions, the promptings of God. Uh, as we pray, uh, God, we experience the healing of God in our bodies. We are delivered from uh, uh, oppressions that that we might be experiencing. So the supernatural power of God uh, becomes very real uh, in moments of revival, seasons of revival, uh, and of course the mighty harvest of souls. So, friends, I want to invite us. You know, let's pray for that heart uh, that seeks out for God's uh, touch once again. Uh, and the way David cried out and said, "Lord, restore to me uh, the joy of Thy salvation. Bring me to a place of rejoicing in You, O God." Uh, and and the psalmist also cried out in Psalm 85 and verse six, "Will You not revive us again, that Your people may rejoice in You?" Let's just pray that God will give us that heart. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we pray that Lord, you will keep us, Lord, in that place of seeking after you, being excited about you, experiencing you, Lord, in the now. Father, we we pray, God, that even as we do that, Lord, that uh, uh, great seasons of outpouring, Lord, will will come upon us as your people, Lord. And Father, may your name be glorified. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.